Hello everyone, and welcome back to Coach's Corner. Once again, I'm joined by Tremaine Jackson, the head football coach here at Colorado Mesa University. Thank you so much for joining me, Coach, and congratulations on your win over Chatter and State. Appreciate it. Look forward to it, man. I'm, I'm always glad to be here on Coach's Corner. Well, we're certainly glad to have you. Just hopping right into the game, talking about the 24 to 17 victory you guys had. What was the biggest factor in your win? I thought our kids played extremely hard. I thought they kept fighting. Uh, even with the lead changes and, and the slow start, uh, we just kept fighting. We played extremely hard, and, and I thought we played better than we had all year. Just we were a little bit more focused. I completely agree. You guys looked determined and skillfully persistent in your win, especially that defense, which kept coming after the football. What was the biggest person on that defense that made a game-changing play for you guys? Yeah, I think it was everybody. Uh, if you had saw their week of practice last week, players and coaches, everybody was a little bit more focused. Everybody was more determined to prove that they weren't a bad defense, uh, even though we had some struggles the week before. And so I think everybody did a good job of, of preparing the right way and getting ready to play a good football team. Well, you guys certainly did that. And now speaking to the offense, your quarterback, Karst Hunter, after winning back-to-back -back Armac Offensive Player of the Week awards, he looked great again. Flawless football, no mistakes once again. What have you guys done to try to help him be so precise and accurate in his throws? Yeah, we just continue to coach him, and he continues to take the coaching, and that's everybody on the offensive unit. Those guys come to work every day. They're exciting to watch. They're exciting to watch prepare, and they just continue to fight and get us in the end zone, and that's what matters. Well, absolutely. Now looking forward, as you guys try to look for 4-0 against CSU Pueblo Thunderwolves next week, what is the biggest factor that you guys are going to have to work on this week to come out with a win? Yeah, we're going to have to still figure out who we are. Um, I think that's it's still a young season for us, and we got to figure out how good we can be to go beat a good football team at home, which we hadn't done since 2009. Well, best of luck to you guys next week. Be sure to go check them out against CSU Pueblo Thunderwolves in their stadium at 2 p.m. on Saturday.